secondary postpartum hemorrhage fresh bleeding from genital tract between 24 hours and 6 weeks after delivery uh, we already mentioned about the lochia which is the discharge associated along with the necrotic tissue from the decidual site but besides that if there is a fresh bleeding coming out after the delivery and especially after 24 week, hours of delivery up to six weeks which is the period of the uh, perperium usually it means there is secondary hemorrhage occur and there is secondary infection takes place which can lead to postpartum hemorrhage so that's the postpartum hemorrhage Due to endometriitis or retained placental tissue, endometriitis is infection of the endometrial lining of the uterus or if there are species of placenta retained, it's very important that after the delivery of the placenta, we should look the placenta and check if the placenta is removed as a whole or completely and if there is no piece or no uh, uh, piece of placenta is retained in the uterus so that can also cause postpartum hemorrhage here you can see this is the uh, blood from the vessels of the placenta so this is the uh, hemorrhage endometriitis is uh, when there is endometriitis suspected there is close internal os uh, tender uterus is present with the endometriitis but when the placental tissue is retained usually the os is open os do not close if there is placental tissue present in the uterus but in case of infection the os is closed and the uterus is larger than the normal regression is not taking place involution is not taking place so it's larger than the normal signs and symptoms of secondary postpartum hemorrhage we have low grade fever uh, pungent lochia this lochia is uh, it smells foul uh, foul smelling lochia is present with the postpartum hemorrhage or infection uterine tenderness is present also so these are few signs and symptoms associated with postpartum hemorrhage